All right, Richard, how do you feel about your first show at the great downtown Fullerton Art Walk coming up April 1st at Max Bloom's? I'm very excited about it. It's be good to get some things out there and hopefully spark some discussion. Discussion. How do you feel about us <clears throat> discussing... I love you, <laughs> How do you feel about us discussing an art show that will be taking place at Max Bloom's while we're sitting at Drip? Yeah. The art, however, is stellar, and I could not be more proud that this is the last show in the foreseeable future that I will be curating at the Florida Art Walk. We started off at Max Bloom's 14 months ago with four artists the OC Weekly had deemed best artists in Orange County, and I agreed with the OC Weekly, and that was the first show at Max Bloom's. The last is Richard De Gore and his very thoughtful exhibit called Valerie's Family Secrets. Just tell us how this show came about. I went back east to help my mother move out of the house where I grew up and uh, was struck by how you have to edit, uh, in her case, almost 90 years of life to fit into several boxes in the back of a truck, uh, weeding through things that get kept, weeding through things that get thrown away. I took a few pictures of the empty rooms and if you take those pictures out of the context of the story, you could interpret them any way. Um, they could be somebody moving out of a house. They could be right. somebody moving into a house. Um, you could uh, add a little forensic files kind of uh, detective work to something as insignificant as a stain on the carpet. Um, everything tells a story, and uh, that's what this all grew out of. It started out with several pictures uh, based on that empty house and uh, just spun into the life story of a woman named Valerie who uh, had a hard life but an interesting one, and uh, sort of disappears under mysterious circumstances. And the idea is that uh, each individual painting uh, is a standalone work that you can interpret however you want, but as a collection, the paintings relate to each other, and you can sort of intuit a story for Valerie from those paintings. You can spin any number of stories. I have one in my, in my mind. But the idea is I want people to be creative. I want this to spark discussion. There are elements in it of, uh, uh, you'll see uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, dementia, Alzheimer's, spousal abuse, gender roles. To me, the underlining cause of her misery all stems from the fact that she was born a woman and that she married an abusive man. There's lots of other things in the show, but that's it. And whether in her time, or today, we seem to have made no progress in that. All of these things are a part of so many people's lives, and these are things that usually go on behind closed doors. So uh, this is, in a way, an intimate peek into somebody else's life. Um, but it could be anybody. There would be elements in this that I think a lot of people could relate to. So clearly not an ordinary art show. No, no, these are not, uh, this is not a collection of pretty landscapes. Some of them are pretty though, aren't they? Well, we aim to please. So, um, regular art walk hours at Max Booms are from 7 to 10 p.m., yes. but we want people that walk through this exhibit to kind of tell their own story, right? What they thought happened to Valerie and her husband and all these other aspects of the show. But between 10 and 11, when most of the art walk venues are closed, Richard is going to be doing a more private docent tour to anyone who cares to come back or stay until 10, where he's gonna go through the exhibit with explanations of his motivation and his storyline, and he'd be interested in hearing how it differs from yours. And uh, while he's doing that, I will be serving old fashions. I think it's fitting with this, uh, nice. with this exhibit. That's so nice. please come out on Art Walk April 1st. Yes, please. You won't regret it. He's a lovely man, and so his art reflects so the art nice. of a lovely man.